What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a full house, got people everywhere. Rise over there servicing his car. We've got Blake fixing his transit down here. He's under there somewhere. <laughs> and then Callum's over there somewhere. I don't know if you can see him. But today we're going to be tackling the cooling system and we are going to be fitting a SR rad from S13 or 14. I, can't remember, I think it's from 14. I've put the put the crossbar on just so that we know where to mark it. Here's the radiator. This is actually Ross's one, but we're going to be getting the same one anyway. Comes with a shroud and two e-fans, and this and it comes with a relay kit for the fans and everything, and a th uh, thermometer switch. Yeah, it comes with a thermometer switch as well if you want to run that. Obviously, ours we're going to be running off the ECU, and then using the factory uh, temperature gauge. But yeah, this is a nice little bit. Shut up! <laughs> you can't even hear, he's got his headphones in. <laughs> yeah. um, this one is. <laughs> oh, I'll film this clip eventually. This is a dual pass radiator. It's, Ross, is it dual pass or triple pass? Is this radiator dual pass or triple pass? Triple. triple. Right, so it's a triple pass, so flows in, back down, back down. We test fitted it the other day and the pipes line up quite well. We're going to have to have like a bit of an S going on, but should work really well. It's quite fat. I think it's 45 mil, top of the head. Yeah, it's quite nice. The plan is, these are the factory brackets. I've got over there some square steel tube, 40 by 40, uh, 20 by 20. And I want to make a piece come down and then I'll weld a bit going along and then drill some two holes in it with some rubber grommets because on the bottom of the SR rad it's got like two bits that stick down like this where it just sits on a rubber grommet. Um, and I'm going to have it coming down, drill some holes and then put a plate on the front and basically bolt it to the factory one so then I can unbolt it and take it off. Originally I was going to just cut this off and weld a bracket and just have it so it's welded in but I think it'll be better to just have it so I can unbolt it and yeah this is a factory packet for the radiator so it should hold up it's reasonably strong I mean the radiator don't weigh that much and then we'll have some brackets coming from the top of the rad to here somewhere I need to figure that bit out but let's wrap up the, the radiator with some cardboard so we don't damage it and then we'll start test fitting it all right, so that is where she's going to go. We've just got it held up with a jack. Make sure you put carbon on the front so you don't damage it. It also gives you a little bit of spacing between the actual metal, so it gives a little wiggle room. <laughs> it's quite a tight fit down there. Probably just about get your finger in between it all, but it's all right, not too bad. And then the pipe will go from there to there. I'll have to do a little... Don't know, I'm sure we'll find a bit of pipe. And then that one will go down to that one down there. Nice, mate. So just need to make some brackets to go from here somewhere to there to hold that. Maybe use that hole. I don't know, we'll get to that bit after. But if you see, the factory bracket actually lines up pretty well. So probably just come straight down and along. Yes, very nice. Very good, very nice. So this is what we've done. Alright, so I marked two little holes. Basically, I'm going to drill two holes and then it have a bolt and washers going through there. Looks about right. Should be alright. I'm going to drill the holes now for these. Always use your safety glasses. <laughs> <laughs> My eyelids. <laughs> Alright, so it's getting a, just marked where these little bits go. And yeah, just need to drill the holes and then we can weld this up. I know this massive box steel tubing is way excessive, but it's the metal we've got, so it saves us buying more. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so that is the design. See they're going in there, drilled some holes. We will put a rubber bung on here so it can like move around a bit. 
every time. Uh, we're just going to clean all this up and then weld it. There you go, I just cleaned it all up, ready to weld. Going to put some tacks on there and take the radiator out and then weld it. Isn't that right, Blake? Uh. Nice. <laughs> There we go, all welded up now, on the other side, now just need to take the radiator out, well, still need to make these, I forgot about that, yeah we need to make some little plates, I'm thinking about going from this hole here, put a nut and bolt, going to here, just, I'm going to figure that out. Alright, for the brackets, use a bit of cardboard, I'm going to reuse this hole instead of drilling another one, so it's my plan, something like that. And then obviously I round all the edges off so it's all nice. And then just flip it over for the other side. And then have a little rubber grommet in here as well. And yeah, now turn that into metal. There we go. Bit of steel. Get Russ to cut it up. Right, so that's the bracket I've made. Done a few bends. And it'll just go there, put a little rubber bung around this. Obviously it's not going to stay there, so I'll smooth it all off. All the corners will be rounded off and stuff, and then paint it black, probably. Need to make the other one. Oh yeah, rubber bungs. There we go. Both done. Now I'm just going to clean them up. And then, yeah. Just need to draw them holes as well, but I'll do that last. Boom All right, so she is all in now. These are the little brackets I made. I don't know if you can see it's focused. Put little rubber grommets around it. And then I haven't bolted it down yet, but that's the idea. I'll just put a nut on the back. And yeah. Use the factory 2JZ pipes from the GS300. I just cut them down a bit shorter. Uh, same as with that one. That one's actually, I haven't trimmed down yet, but it pretty much is perfect anyway. It's got a slight kink, so I'll probably shorten it a little bit. But yeah, it's all in there. It's a decent amount of clearance. Not too bad, about a finger gap. That one's a bit close, but be all right. I just need to wire in the fans, which I've already got the, the... I've got the relay kit in the box there, and then I've got the signal from the ECU to the fan here. So I need to do that. But for the time being, I'm completely sick of doing wiring. I still need to tidy that up a little bit. But I'm just so done with wiring, I want to have a little break from the wire inside. Um, but yeah, I think next I'm going to have to make the exhaust. Also I need to change this o-ring because if you watched the previous video it was leaking. I've ordered one but it's still not here. So as soon as that comes I'll be changing that boy. And then yeah, but turned out pretty nice, nice little brackets. Looks so fresh now. Ooh. Also painted this lower bracket. I know it's way overkill, it's massive box steel, but it's it's what I had laying around. I don't want to buy new steel, so I put the little rubber grommets on the bottom here as well, so this stops the dampens of vibration a little bit. Yeah, she is looking mint. The only thing is that's the drain plug there, so you obviously can't really get to it. But this does drop. I can unscrew it, so if we ever do need to drain it, we'll just do that. Yeah, lovely jubbly. Just need to get an overflow pipe, put that, I might try, tuck that under here or something, run it down, down there, something like that, I don't know. Maybe just cable tight up here. <laughs> yeah, she's getting there boys, she's getting there. Also, I forgot to mention, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but it's a 52 mil radiator, so it's it's quite, th quite fat. I thought it was a 45, but it's 52. 180 quid off eBay, mate. With, comes with the shroud and fans, decent. All right, that is gonna be it for today's video. We finally got all the cooling done, which I'm super happy about. And it looks so good, so fresh. It actually sort of like, looks like an engine bay now. It looks insane. Um, exhaust next. Been playing around today with the TIG welder, just practicing. I've never done it before, so. Getting there, just playing around with settings. This is stainless, obviously it's not titanium yet, but 
I still need to um, weld a stainless V-band onto the back of the, the turbo. So yeah, need to practice that a bit more. And then we can finally get on to making the titanium exhaust, which should be fun. Wish me luck. <laughs> Never ticked. Today is my first time and I've got to do titanium. What? What's your problem? What about that guy? Stay safe for today. <laughs> this is the outro, not the intro. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.